This is a presentation of fluidic circular dimensions, which is a continuation of the principles established by the book Fifth Dimension, published in 1993. Images and partial animations for the pending episodes are displayed in this video. The goal is to present higher dimensional space and provide an image of our universe and spiritual connection. The popular universe theory is string theory. It finds its roots in the early 1900s and has evolved through the decades. An hour lecture on strings will start with a very good five-minute explanation of the problem. Basically, equations developed for the microscopic world do not function in the macroscopic world, and vice versa. A unified theory is sought wherein a single set of equations can survive both environments. The rest of the lecture is filled with hope and mathematical goop that non-theoretical physicists are going to have a tough time with. During the search for a unified set of formulas, a new division is created between the lower and higher dimensions, each with different descriptions. This is because linear dimensions do not work. They are very useful, they have gotten us this far, but with noticeable breakdowns, such as not being able to represent the fourth dimension or higher graphically. The linears suffer from a rigid orthogonal frame that can only incorporate three dimensions, commonly known as x, y, and z coordinate axes. Circular dimensions don't suffer this restriction and incorporate the physical traits of our world, namely fluidic circular motion. All things great and small, ordered and chaotic, exhibit circular motion, be it atomic or planetary orbits, or even wave motion. Gases and solids are just excited and stubborn fluids. Our universe model, framework, must embody these two traits. In the episodes to follow, we will examine the relationship of the dimensions in a purely graphical and circular frame. Instead of rigid linears, we will lay the groundwork for fluidic circular dimensions. This presentation is meant to open the door to this new field and to add to the existing work being done on strings. The string theorists will be happy to see their squiggles of energy graphically depicted as the collapse of imperfect higher dimensional waves. Infinity continues the journey with analysis of the first dimension. Visit the link above for more information and links to all episodes in this series.